Welcome to my first official vlog of 2020 like I'm still in disbelief when I say it out loud because I can't believe we are in a brand new decade and I think it's gonna be such a great year I'm looking forward to it and um, I wanted to start this vlog get my Christmas tree down because it's still up it's the 6th of January <laughs> I didn't I kind of didn't plan to keep it up for that long but we still wanted to enjoy like the festive season until Bren went back to work so Bren is back at work today I got up early getting back into my routine made my celery juice if you guys haven't watched some of my previous vlogs my celery juices are literally just celery and some water. They are quite pungent, but it's really good for the digestive system. So I'm going to have that while I take down this Christmas tree. It's like a no makeup kind of Monday. And yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along, clean with me, organize with me. We did some housework over the weekend. We did some changes and I'm going to show that to you guys in this vlog as well do some organizing i know you guys love when i clean with you so i'm gonna bring you guys along my day and the power just went off that's lovely I'm gonna do majority spinach I really want to get a lot of spinach in there I buy mine just in the bag like this and then I just pop it in the freezer stays fresh and um, yeah it just blitzes up a lot easier I find that if I don't do this I just throw out the spinach because it goes bad so quickly so I um, alternate between the normal fresh spinach and baby spinach so this time I'm using normal spinach I have some frozen mango, a little bit of avo, um, I have this soy milk that's unsweetened, lactose free, it's a good source of protein, it has vitamin A, vitamin B6, iron and selenium, it's very high in vitamin B2, vitamin B12 which I'm deficient in and omega-3 and zinc, it's also very high in vitamin D and it's GMO free, I get this at pick and pay you can you can also get it at disc game and like most places and then I'm just gonna add a scoop of this collagen this is for strong hair and nails skin hydration digestive health immune health and bone health and this is from um, super shape you can get it at disc game and this is the pomegranate flavor so I'm gonna blitz this all together and make a very delicious smoothie slash juice I will tell you when you get old
destiny To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Today and not tomorrow This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Okay, I am just done folding the laundry. I really hope that you guys don't mind me wearing my glasses. I'm kind of blind, so I need them to see. And um, yeah. I organized and cleaned the house looking like a bum so that's just real life and um, I always get questions on like my frames and stuff so I got these from my optometrist my optometrist is Candice she's from the vision works in four ways so I'm sure if you pop her a DM she'll know exactly which pair but I know it's from the brand Mo so if you are interested you can always just send her a DM and then yeah I've just been folding laundry I watched this so many times um, I just watched super size versus super skinny and if you guys have never heard about it I watch it on YouTube it's kind of like a, a food eating show where they swap opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of diets so like a super skinny person and a super size person and I just find it so interesting um, I like the psychology around it so yeah that's what I've been watching I'm going to press play as soon as I have finished this conversation with you guys. But a constant battle in terms of organization is my beauty room slash studio slash spare bedroom in this apartment because I do this for a living. So I have tons of beauty products, tons of skincare, body care, makeup, everything. And that is where I store it. I store it in this room. And I also have like my shoes in here some extra clothing and it can get quite crazy if I have to be honest I just keep the products that I use on a regular basis in the bathroom and then I kind of like rotate and um, sometimes I'll try something new um, or just like switch the products out so it's like a constant battle to organize this room so I'm gonna show you guys but please don't judge me I forgot to start filming <laughs> before um, I like took everything out but I'm gonna show you the current state and then we can organize it all together I have some extra clothes um, I decluttered my wardrobe yesterday and I just have a few extra pairs of joggers like this the ones that I'm wearing right now and to be honest it's summertime so I only need like maximum five so I put the rest in this little ziploc bag that you suction all of the air out I just get them at Leroy and Merlin and then I have some Christmas pajamas which it's over so I don't need to wear a Christmas set of pajamas anymore so i put those away for next year and then i just have like a whole bunch of things going on over here i'm trying to organize my skincare um a little bit of fake tan and like body care and stuff but it's just like a constant <laughs> organizational battle i have hair products over here and then i have some shoes and it's just yeah it kind of gets crazy i have more fake tan stuff over here the caribbean tan can go over there and then 
I have some SPF, which is kind of like body care. This is like nail stuff. My mom made this for me, by the way, to like rest your hand on it. So nails go in that drawer over there. And then we have sheet masks, which is skincare over there and then i'm just going to continue doing this and speed you guys through the whole process Today and not tomorrow there's no time to borrow today friend just got home and during the holidays i woke up at like eight or nine o'clock this morning I woke up at half past five and I've been up since six so hey <laughs> so I think it's just a little bit of getting used to so I'm feeling a little bit tired and I did a tired, are we? face mask I was busy sorting out my skincare and I had this mask, it was literally empty and I just couldn't throw it away as is. So I kind of like scraped out the last bit and I used it while I was sorting that out. I'm cleaning you all. <laughs> but now I need a nap. I need to take a little bit of a nap because I'm so tired. Okay, let me do. Well, something's got to give today. It's a good day to day and not tomorrow. Okay, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I took a nap and I feel so much better. It's like half a six. And welcome to a new vlog. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I already said hello. You didn't need to say it was a new year. This is a donkey. Yo! Yay! This year we're going to appear in a vlog. So yeah, it's back to normal. Mm. Back to reality. Back to the job. Back to the grind. And back to cooking. And back to cooking. We're cooking some leftovers. And this is me prepping some some dinner. <laughs> I'm making some egg fried rice. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's got to give today. It's a good day today. It's a The rice a la Liffy. watching the second half of the Arsenal game and he should be joining me shortly um, but I wanted to kind of like recap this day um, I can't believe that I fell out of routine so quickly um, and I hit like a low this afternoon but I'm so glad I took that nap and um, because I don't know I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or a flu or whatever my throat is really sore so I had some ginger tea earlier um, this evening Brain did some work and then um, I continued like organizing um, but I'll show you guys the progress tomorrow morning um, I'm currently busy uploading a vlog which I'm gonna check on just before I put the lights off um, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning and then we will continue this organization 
clean with me get my life in order for 2020 vlog so i'll see you guys in the morning Any morning phone video? I'm reading comments. <laughs> Hope you're replying. Mm. Not just reading, you need to reply. <laughs> done before I tackle the rest of this house I know we're going somewhere. okay I've just been sitting on the couch editing and this is the Christmas vlog which you guys have already seen by now and this is the intro So while that is exporting and uploading, I really want another cup of coffee and um, I think I've come down to the perfect cup of coffee and I'm going to show you guys how I make it. Okay, so I did a little speed through this morning, but I basically use a combination of my Girl Boss Health Coffee. This is for slimming and anti-aging since we are on the kick of this weight loss or like back into the routine and just shedding some Christmas weight nothing hectic um, but first I brew some Starbucks I change these up all the time um, this one is just the blonde roast and I just add a little bit of boiling water into this little what is this called i don't know what this is called but i just a press a coffee press i think that's what it's called um and then in my what do you call it my blender i just add a cup of this or like a little scoop and put it into the blender cup and then i take um pure mct oil this you can get from Discam. it's basically for um like a keto lifestyle it just keeps you fuller for longer um and has like a sustainable energy you can read up on this i watched a couple of videos and most people that do bulletproof coffee uses uh, coconut mct oil in their coffee and i'm just gonna add like literally like a teaspoon not even and then a little bit of honey or like sweetener of your choice i switch between honey and um sweetener and then i didn't um take out the coffee grinds from this morning i'll throw this away once i'm done And then I'm just going to heat some milk in the microwave. Oops. I use this Good Hope soy milk. Oh, and I also forgot that I do a little bit of vanilla essence. You guys, just, this just makes the coffee taste amazing. And then I'm going to put the milk in there and then blend it up. Cheers. Mm. 
and you have to do that whole blending process but like really quick like literally two seconds because otherwise the foam on top gets kind of crazy but it just makes it so much more creamier so i'm gonna enjoy this and um start editing the new year's vlog okay we've made some progress um i've just been trying to get a plan going here so i have all of my extra products in here so in this one i have some skincare um some serums and um some night lotions and then in this one over here i have like micellar waters and cleansers at the back this one i have some spf some body care things like that and then in this last one over here is um like fake tan body scrubs for fake tan and things like that and then i took some hair products out but this little basket is just extra shampoos and conditioners some extra shampoos and some extra conditioners that i'm not using right now at the moment i'm using moroccan oil so i have all of that in my shower and then in this one i have like all of my additional hair products and look who's home <laughs> so I have some content to film and I have this little idea with a cupcake so I asked Brent to get me a cupcake and some birthday candles <laughs> and did not expect this sushi <laughs> shit balls always so clumsy This looks so good. I'm excited. It all points right to that. I set myself aside, lead the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, I finished um, filming some Moroccan oil content and like shooting photos. So I took a shower, washed my hair, and then put a little bit of makeup on to take some photos and videos and stuff but um it's like 5 30 and i am going to finish prepping dinner we are watching a show called the circle it's like a social media series it's kind of weird but kind of entertaining so i changed my outfit again how shocking i'm just wearing like sweatpants and a t-shirt and i the main reason that i changed out of my pajamas was i literally just wanted to create that content in it and um, i mainly took a shower just to create this video so you know my hair is washed and everything i'm probably just going to take a shower just before i get back into bed or before i get into bed um, i'm going to quickly show you guys the video that i created Come to the water. Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain We'll take it in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I will hold you, keep you
and now I am going to finish up or try and get as far as I possibly can with this room um, so yeah I have made a little bit of progress but I still have a lot to do shake yourself and step in I'm not feeling it <laughs> prepping dinner right now it's actually two days after um or the day after i last showed that recipe to you guys or our dinner to you guys um i've just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed let me actually sit you guys down and then i can chat to you a little bit and just open my heart and share how i'm feeling okay we are gonna sit on the floor and I am just gonna talk to you guys and let you in on how I am feeling at the moment I just feel so overwhelmed going into 2020 first of all it's a new decade it is it has such great expectations and I just want to give my best um, but we've been away over the holidays we went camping as you guys saw in the previous vlog and um, yeah things have just been crazy um, we went to Thailand we got engaged it has just been such a crazy ride for 2019 and um, it kind of ended on a high note which I'm very happy about and I'm very thankful that it ended so amazingly um, but because we went away and you know we went on an overseas trip and we went camping and it was Christmas um, I just feel like the apartment is just crazy you guys and um i just felt a little bit overwhelmed yesterday so i didn't film anything i just felt like i had so much stuff and um i just wanted to get rid of it but also in my heart i feel so proud of where i have you know of where i've become and who i've become and what i have achieved over the past couple of years since starting this youtube journey of mine and um i just didn't want to like throw makeup away or like silly things like press packages with like a personalized box and things like that have just like piled up in my beauty room so I have a designated room as I showed to you guys in this vlog um, and if you are an OG subscriber you probably would know this um, but I have a dedicated room for like makeup and skincare and just like extra overflow of products because this is my job um, so yeah I just felt like I don't want to just throw this all away and I feel very blessed but I just have to like you know be thankful for what I have um, and have a good mindset for the future as well so I have created a little box with things that I want to give away things that um, are maybe brand new that I can 
resell or I don't know I don't know what my plan is all I know is I want to give some away and I want to sell some and um, maybe buy some new products to review maybe invest in some fashion videos or things like that I don't know I don't know what my plan is for 2020 and um, I had no idea what I wanted to say sitting down here and I just feel like a little bit all over the place but this is an organizational vlog and getting my life together for 2020 and um, yeah my beauty room is not where I want it to be my apartment is not where I want it to be this is not my dream place or space to live in and we really do want to move in a house very soon um, but I've come to realize that I just want to be thankful for what I have and not be too too focused on what is to come or what I still need to do next week or you know where I want to live in a couple of months from now and just be thankful for what I have and take care of the things that I have and maybe bless some other people with it too so yeah my beauty room is not where I want it to be um so I'm gonna show you guys how far I've come I've got like I have a a little bit of tidying up to do still Brennan and I finished last night bless his soul he helped me a little bit um but this is how far we've gotten so far <laughs> and um I wanted to show you guys some dinner that I have prepped since I didn't show you the previous recipe that was basically just some roasted veggies some chicken a little bit of dairy free milk some curry powder some seasoning lemon juice and that's it very simple very healthy and just wholesome I would say <laughs> um, but yeah let me show you what I'm gonna make now Bren um, will be home in about two hours and he told me that he's hungry so I'm gonna make an early dinner with you guys and then we are gonna head to the grocery store and maybe go to the gym together so let's cook some dinner and I'm gonna show you guys what we make so I'm going to put on the kettle and then I have sprayed out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. I have some chicken defrosting in um, the basin. I have this which I just picked up at Pick and Pay and I just freeze it and it stays good for maybe a month. And then I have some Brussels sprouts which I'm just going to cut up in the um, chicken marinade that I'm going to make. It's just some garlic. I have this vinaigrette which you can find at Spa um, if you are from South Africa. It has zero cane sugar. It's just like a very simple, minimal ingredients vinaigrette. And then I have some lemon juice. I got this little squeezy thing from Pick and Pay. You just squeeze out the lemon juice and then you can just keep it in the fridge like this. This is like a guilty kind of seasoning pleasure. I'm trying to weigh ourselves off of this. Um, but that's what I'm going to put in the chicken and then some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to cook the Brussels sprouts and then I'm going to put them in the air fryer. Right now I'm standing in a corner I see you from across the room But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old So just before Brain comes home and and just before we have our very very early dinner I wanted to show you guys this because I want to put this in the car these are the things that I'm gonna give away these two bags are gonna stay here but the rest are gonna go in the car these two bags are gonna go to my helper she helps me so so much every single week and I just want to show my appreciation and I love spoiling her with things I send her home with things almost every single week so I filled this with like panty liners and bags and scarves and things that I don't really use anymore, including 
this bag over here which is basically clothes that, that I don't wear anymore things that have just laid in my cupboard and I know she will use whatever she doesn't want she can always gift to her friends and family and then this bag as well um, but Bren can decide what he wants to do with this because these are the clothes that he doesn't want anymore um, and then the only person that I know <laughs> other than myself that wears a size 3 is Bren's aunt and like this is brand brand new including like so many shoes that I've only worn a couple of times and she mentioned to me the other day that if I ever have shoes that I don't want anymore I should kindly pass it on to her and it's literally filled to the brim so I know that she's going to be very happy and then like bags like this that I know Bren's mom will love so this is all going to go in the car so that is gonna go into the car. I can't wait for Brain to get here. He just texted me that he is about 15 minutes away. And I quickly wanted to talk to you guys about something that I haven't been particularly good at in 2019. And I'm almost too embarrassed to say, but I haven't been consistent in drinking water. So one of the main things for this new year was to drink more water. And I made, the very serious decision around the 28th of December to drink my water, my recommended daily amount for my body, which is 1.5 liters. And I have been sticking to it consistently for 10 days now. And I'm so, so proud of myself. I am about halfway and we are about halfway through the day. We are going to go um, work out. So I will probably finish all of this. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought I would mention that to you guys. Maybe it will motivate you and inspire you to drink your water. Um, I just googled the recommended amount of water for my weight and my height. And I don't know if it's very accurate. <laughs> but, um, I think 1.5 to 2 liters if you are roughly around like 55 to maybe 65 kilos I don't know I'm around just under 60 kilos which I'm trying to like get down a little bit and tone and just you know cleanse my body so the water is really helping with that actually I want to take a big sip it just feels so good and I feel like I like the taste of water now and I really like lemon water in the morning um, and sometimes at night with just warm water then it's kind of like a lemon tea so um, speaking of like lemons and all of that I try to put together a shopping list before we go shopping so I have a little list over here and I thought I would read it to you guys so we need some lettuce baby spinach tomato cucumber lemons of course brown rice avocado mixed veggies eggs hummus bananas can of corn beans quinoa coriander parsley ground beef ground chicken dairy-free milk uh, berries and nuts for my oats coconut milk spirulina powder and then I want to get a healthy bread for myself and just some bread for brain, whichever he wants. Um, I want to stock up on some more potato fries, sweet potato fries, a purple onion, some bell peppers, and then brain loves these rainbow chicken bianas. I love them too, but I try not have too many of them. And then he likes having ham in the kitchen or in the fridge. And then we want to get wraps. So that's just more, more or less the things that we normally get. The fridge in the pantry is looking a little bit dull and a little bit sad. Um, but yeah, as soon as Brain gets here, we are going to have our late lunch slash early dinner. And then we can head to the grocery store and to the gym. I wanted to show you guys these beautiful, fresh bouquet of flowers that Brain um, brought, brought home for me last night and I just love the pops of pink roses and the pops of green and yeah I just love having fresh flowers in the house now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room tell me what you want to do we have been watching Brinkham <laughs> 
we have been watching the series called The Circle and at first we were like this is like a bunch of crap <laughs> but um, we've kind of gotten addicted to it and now it's funny <laughs> Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love, baby, let me love you. Just say the word and we can leave this place. Take you anywhere you want Just to try it Just to try it Huh? Candy floss Candy yeah. floss We have a candy floss one So? Bring me a flavor alone And um Let's take a cream soda As long as we're together So we are home and um, before I show you guys what we got, I wanted to try this with you guys and see how it is. So we have, Brain has his laptop and he has this nifty little screen that's like an extra screen. So he's working on like two screens but um, we wanted to show you this water. Do you want to taste the cream soda one first? And I'll taste... It's hard to do this with one hand. I'll taste the... The jelly bean one first. Ooh, I missed a little bit on my pants. That's you just water. It. It's just water. Let me see next. saying anything <laughs> open it's, this one for me it works the switch okay so this is great thing <laughs> it's it's just i don't know i don't think i'll buy this again i think it needs to be really cold it's almost like a flavor drops but with not enough not enough drops in it it's not sweet at all, it's just like flavored. Okay, let's try the candy floss one. It's a very subtle. Mmm. This one is the best candy floss. You look so tired. I am tired. <laughs> I have to work late again. That one's the best. Mm. I would definitely buy the candy floss again. It's definitely got the most flavor. It's it's got more flavor and it's definitely a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna have this one. <laughs> Let me show you guys what we got at the grocery store. So here is a little overview of what we just got at the grocery store. It's definitely not a little overview. It's quite the shop, but I'm gonna quickly run you guys through what we got we definitely needed to stock up on some things we got these three for two um herbs i got italian pasta i got basil and i got mint and then some things like this i will buy on reduced to clear this is a sesame seed rye bread and it's normally good to eat within like a day or two and then i got some rice this is brown and wild rice with brown lentils i got these little bags to put in smoothie ingredients and put them in the freezer so that it's ready to blitz up and then i got some lemons for lemon water and a lot of recipes 
I also have some bananas and then some lettuce and young spinach and then coming over here I have some waters and then over here I have some black beans avo and guacamole I've got some coconut milk this you guys is one of the best hummus that I've ever tasted they don't have it that often but when they do I definitely pick it up then I have some soy milk some corn for the Mexican dishes I want to make these are three bell peppers I've got some roasting vegetables a tomato mushrooms and then ham and these are the viennas that Bren loves I have some mincemeat and chicken over there and then what haven't I mentioned yet I haven't mentioned this so this is some cheeky little chocolate we have the dark with smooth peanut butter and then we also have a mr. mint I absolutely love mint chocolate these are sugar and dairy free Bren got this this doesn't have dairy in it but it does a it does have a little bit of sugar and then this is a new little thing that I'm trying this is dairy free Greek white cheese with coconut oil this is quite expensive I think this was like 80 rand but I wanted to give it a go they have a lot of dairy free cheeses at pick and pay now so I wanted to give that a go I also got some pizza breads these are brown pizza breads I put these in the freezer and they are good for like a month or so I got some spirulina powder for my smoothies and then we love to have like a little sweet treat with tea in the evening so we got this gluten-free with no added sugar cookies we have some peanuts and raisins and then i saw this it's like um maybe six bags of these little snacking seeds and i really want to put these on my oatmeal what did i not mention a oh, red onion so i think i mentioned everything oh there's one more thing I got this I'm not sure if it's gonna be spicy but I really want to top this on like avo toast or something like that it's just like a chili explosion and then I got some chicken korma paste this one looked really good it didn't um, have like any bad ingredients it didn't have like sugar as far as I can remember and then I just got some white pepper and then I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos um, I do apologize for not showing you too too much in regards to like organizing and the way it all came out but I do believe that it's okay to take some things off your plate and not like overwhelm yourself and just take like a second back and just say you know what I need to take time to center myself and just focus on what I need to do so um since I am mentioning this I was on the treadmill next to this girl in the gym and um she kept like squeaking her shoes on the treadmill band and i didn't have any earphones or anything with me and it annoyed the crap out of me like i had to center myself and focus on my own road or my own purpose for being at the gym and i focused on my breathing and I focused on why I'm there and just to stop like outside things from distracting me from my goal. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. It feels like I'm drunk on ya. It feels like I'm drunk on ya.